idea for Andean originally, where did that come from? Uh, it was very simple, pulling a fisherman, the image of a fisherman, pulling, <laughs> pulling a girl out of the water in his net. You know, mm -hmm. maybe I'm a pervert or something. I don't <laughs> you know. Were if you were pulling a oh, fisherman. Gone the other way. <laughs> yeah, married man like pulling you. Ball, yeah. <laughs> no, but it's like, it was like, you know, kind of an image that I thought, that's really weird, and I haven't seen mm. that before. Have you seen it before? No, never mind. I haven't, actually. No, I, I would have told you by now would if you, I had. It would have been like, yeah. Neil. No, yeah. but I mean, even yeah. in The Little Mermaid, she comes, you know. I, I actually love Disney movies, you know. Mm -hmm. I love classic Disney Same. movies. And I love Snow White, too. That's yeah. my preparation for this, watching The Little Mermaid. Was it's it really? Like, yeah. Oh, yeah, I did oh, watch it, man. yeah. It's, it's like, but, but that's what it came, and I, t you know, mm -hmm. I didn't know where I wanted to go, this image, and, you know. I began to write the script, and mm -hmm. you know, he says he tells his daughter she's doing dialysis. He tells her a little fairy tale, and he doesn't know how to finish it, and she begins to finish it for him. So in a way, the daughter was like me, saying, "Where is this? What's the story about? Where's it going? Why is she in the water? Why did you pull her out of the net?" And all that yeah. sort of stuff, you know. And she goes to the library and does her research. So she invents the fairy tale around it, which he comes to believe in and to just develop. Yeah. That. And did you did you always have Colin in mind? I so kind of, when I was writing it, I kind of had him, him, him in mind. I genuinely did, you mm -hmm. know, but um, I didn't know whether he wanted to do it. And when I finished, I wrote it quite quickly, and um, which is not a bad thing, actually. It doesn't mean mm -hmm. that I didn't give it enough time. <laughs> no, 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 seriously, if you, write, if you write things fast for the movies, generally they come out How with long did Tarantino take to write Reservoir Dogs? Was something like seven days or nine days or something oh, like that? I wrote a script in three days once. I know you did. You wrote did. Um, interview with Ryan I did, Ryan. yeah, yeah. But three days, man. Jeez. I couldn't stop. But that's it was insanity. Those pills, it was those pills. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but Give us a it few. was like no, not anymore. <laughs> no, it was that kind of heavy duty work isn't for yourself. <laughs> no, 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 heavy duty pills. <laughs> no, but <laughs> you, you finished. You, you write this thing. You finished it, and you don't know whether it's any good <laughs> or not. Mm -hmm. So you know, who do you send it to? Your wife. She doesn't read. What I, she never reads what I, right. I write. Yeah. So I told her to send it to Colin. And right. uh, you wrote it your, uh, yourself, and you were directing, and it's very mm. independent. Kind of feel to the whole. It was thing, totally different. To You're thing. asking, do you have anyone helping him with his ecker? No, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> no. But that must be nice coming for both of you to come to a very small and kind of an intimate. It was lovely. I mean, we talked about uh, working together for about seven or eight years. I think mm -hmm. um, there was a thing that Neil wrote a film script of the Borgia family, the story of the Borgias, and we were going to do that and then couldn't get the money together. And then this seemed like a perfect storm. You know, there was just so many factors that were involved that were lovely. I, mm. I loved the story when I read it. I loved that part of the world. That's where. All this kind of mad aspect of my life started really with falling for a dancer. The Deirdre Purcell thing before mm -hmm. Ballycus Angel and everything else. Um, so it felt like some full circle that I was closing by going back to Castletown Bear. Yeah. Um, I'm a bit of an idealist and, uh, and would have kind of a romantic enough, you romantically in fate, you? yeah, fate. a little bit, you know. Fate. And I would have a romantically inclined mind as well. And so mm -hmm. the fairy tale aspect of the story is something that I really connected to. And yet it doesn't shy away from the harsh truths of reality, but it just asks, what are they but not something that are to be possibly learned from with a shift in perspective? And the shift in perspective was offered up by this myth that was mm. created in the film. And the fact that the, the you deliberately didn't want to use CGI, I understand. Um, is well, it's that not to do so with the that. landscape or...? No, it's also, uh, for one thing, we couldn't afford it. Shallow pockets, right. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, but on the other hand, it's like... Um, I mean, I'm, I'm not trying to be a purist around that. I just thought, you know, you set yourself a challenge and, uh, you know, is it possible to yeah. create a sense of enchantment with nothing but the camera mm -hmm. and performances, you know, and actors and a landscape that may or may not be beautiful. It was beautiful to me. I don't know if it would be beautiful to the world at <coughs> large. Mm -hmm. And, you know, is it possible to do that, to get people to suspend their belief, you know, with sure. the simplest means possible? That's the kind of task I set myself, that if people yeah. that go see the movie have it failed to miss <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Um, and Syr Syracuse as a character, I think on paper, if you were to look at a synopsis and you'd say, recovering alcoholic, his daughter is terminally ill, mm. he's lonely. Lo lonely existence, more or less. Oh, sorry. Uh, Nearly going home time, they're getting ahead of themselves, you see. Yeah. Sorry about that, guys. You're grand. Yeah, on paper, it seems mm. like. It could almost be a kind of a pitiful character, but it's not that at all. No, well, that that's really what he brings important? to it, doesn't he? Like yeah, but that was I think so definitely. And, no, yeah. and it was also, yeah, it's what you bring to it, and the mutual masturbation continues. No, no, it, was no, no, it, no, it was the way I'm serious, it was the way it was written. I mean, I only per performed or whatever based on, on how I felt, of course, but how I felt mm. about what I was offered in the words. And it was, he was really written with such a, a kind of a, a wonderfully, not harmfully mm. deprecating, but a wonderfully deprecating kind of wry sense of humour and an appreciation for him. Um, for solitude that he had acquired through the years and with all the hardship that he had in his life and the trials and tribulations every day mm. that he experienced with all the things you mentioned, 
the one thing I really loved about him was his complete lack of self-pity. And I couldn't, I could, I looked for that, of course, because you're trying to figure out a man, you're looking for different aspects of his character, and I never found that once mm -hmm. in the reading of it, you know, and it was such an attractive quality. Yeah. You know, it's such a noble quality that I respect in people that I meet in the world as well that kind of seem to have that, that mm -hmm. you know, that genetic split that says that they don't feel sorry for themselves no matter what hardship life throws in their way, and I'm certainly not like that, and that's why I had such a kind of a far-reaching respect for Syracuse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you seem pretty at home on the on the open seas as well. Would you ever fun. be tempted to I was head down there and buy yourself a boat? I don't know. Maybe too scabby to buy one for <laughs> myself. But I was thinking about asking Val, who owned the boat that was using the film, could I hitch a ride for a few months? But the work's too hard. It's hard work, isn't it? It's actually. tough work. It's yeah, it does. Sure. It does oh. look tough work, it's but tough I have work, to say, yeah. it, it's it, it's so mm. beautiful in that part. Of, I've never been to that part of the world at all, now, which oh. is terrible, I suppose. But mm. um, it, it looked so idyllic, even though it was uh, you know do you, hard, do hard life. Do this summer. Take a five-hour road trip. Yeah. Go down to Castle Down Bear. Do yourself a hit solid. A, get, get a hitch ride on a on a boat. Do mm. yourself a do solid. Fishing. Yeah, or even just sit <laughs> your ass on a rock and look out to the other boats. Or would it, but just go down there. Mm -hmm. It's so beautiful. The the whole Barra Peninsula there, and up through Kenmare and Glengariff, and some of the most beautiful. I mean, you could drive through Montana, in America, which is known for big sky country, and you'd never mm. come across anything that's more beautiful. Yeah. Than, than down there. You know, and uh, now actually. you have your uh, premiere this evening. Mm -hmm. You've been to premieres, award ceremonies, I'd say, plenty over the years. Is it still, is it a nerve-wracking experience? Do you enjoy it? Yeah, well, both, both kind of. Yeah, yeah. kind of, it is nerve-wracking all the time, and, mm -hmm. and, um, and it's just kind of, I mean, what is reality, Jays? I don't even understand the <laughs> word anymore. It's a matter of, it's just a simple it's just thing. A thing. It's just it's a, a movie. System, it's a system that's in place, and, and you do yeah. and the red carpet thing, and people are there, and you sign things, and it's a system that's in place, and you honour it as kind of a, uh, as a symbol of, good fortune and a, a symbol that maybe some people will get entertained by what you made and like it's really that obvious and that you know it's not mm -hmm. everything but but Jesus it should be enjoyed. Well, and the, it should be enjoyed. In the age of downloads you know what I mean where most people watch movies on a computer it's just kind of a privilege to go to the cinema. Which sure. But it will be nervous. Yeah.